What's going on guys, Hokage here and in today's video we have the Raza God or the 4th Kazakage, whatever you want to call him. Strong A tier character, so yeah, let's get into it. So first we have his item set, it's uh, pretty decent, he has like these balloon kunai things that go in the air that you can use them for guard manipulation. Um, he has the defense tags which will, you know, lower the damage that they do to you or increase your health, you know, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. And then he has these which are basically like attack pills which will do more damage for your combos. So yeah, his item set is not bad. Um, personally, I like to run Raza with somebody like Pain, so I'll always put Pain first instead of Raza, but his item set is not bad. And uh, now I'll be talking about his grab and his grab buffer. So his grab has a vertical hitbox, so that means if they jump, like, they'll still get hit by it. As you can see, like, you can tell that if they jump, they'll still get hit by it. It's just like here in Sasuke, they both have vertical hitboxes. And his grab is also good for grab buffers because of the range that it has on it, and that you can use it to pressure your opponent. So yeah, keep that in mind that his grab buffer is really good and it's definitely something that you want to use. Now I'll be talking about his Jutsu. So his Jutsu is very good for Jutsu buffers and also he has a sub trap in it if you sub at the, the right moment or in the air. Like if you sub while you're in the air, then um it, it increases the sub trap I'm pretty sure. But either way, it's a crazy sub trap and it's something that uh, you got to be careful when you sub it. And yeah, also it has a shuriken stun lock. You just got to time it. Just like that and then you could go to ultimate and see guard is set to one on and then also it hits let me put it to one damage it hits like cross cross map like look that little thing will still hit them see so you can convert like this you could do an ultimate you could do something like that so it's due to you can convert off of it there's a shuriken stun lock crazy sub traps and overall it's very good and definitely something you also want to be using. His Jutsu is amazing. And now I'll be talking about his tilt. His tilt is trash. Uh, slow startup. It's not unblockable like Gar's is. And yeah, it's terrible. So I would not use his tilt at all. And uh, now I'll be going on to his guard pressure and his jails. Alright guys, so on to his first form of guard pressure. We have three hits chakra bait, which is just like this. And it'll jail if you do it uh, correctly, just like that. So yeah, that's how you want to do it. And then also we have his other form of guard pressure, which is also a jail. It's two hits, uh, jump, chakra shuriken. And it'll jail, meaning they can't counter anything, as long as you do it fast enough. And then you have this method, which is just two hits, dash, switch. But the other methods are a little bit more useful, so I recommend doing that. And uh, now we'll go on to his infinites and his S3 cancels. Alright, so his first infinite combo is in his up combo. You don't have to land a perfect reset because of his combo structure, um, which I'll talk about later on. But you can jump, hollow step, or just stay in place. See, so you can do it like that, or you can jump, or you can do whatever. But uh, you can also do an attack pill or a guard break pill. See? And then also you can do an S3 cancel. But like I said, his combo structure is broken, which I will show later on so you don't have to um, time it perfectly. But uh, here's one thing that I'll go ahead and mention right now. If you mess up the up combo, and like the up combo will make it where they're pushed back farther, so you'll have to ninja move instead of hollow step. You, you guys will see what I'm talking about if it happens to you. If you catch them in a juggle, and then you do your up combo, make sure to like ninja move next time you do the infinite. But uh, regardless, you would want to use your neutral or down combo in a juggle, which like I said, I'll talk about later on. So yeah, now we're on to his down combo. Wow, I did the neutral combo. On to his down combo. Which is hollow step, and then you can also do a ninja move and then ult. So yeah, or a guard break pill. Those are his infinite combos, and then you have, and his S3 cancels, both of them. And then you can also do two hits, jump, chakra shuriken. I did a regular shuriken. Two hits, jump, chakra shuriken, and see, look, it stuns. And you can also do three hits, but um, you have to hollow step for that, so just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, so now we're on to his extended stuns. So Raza's first extended stun is um, off three hits, so just like that. And then you can pop the pill again to the combo. And then his other one is more strict, but it's on his up combo. You want to treat it like a combo switch. And then you can uh, pop a pill and get into the combo. It's where the infinite would be, like if you didn't switch your characters. So you basically want to do like that last hit that you would do to get into the infinite and then switch at the same time. Or a combo switch, whatever you want to call it. And now I'll be talking about his airy sets. So he has two airy sets, but one of them is a little bit 
difficult to time out of um, combos. So I'll show you that he has a stun lock combo and then I'll show you his other airy set there. But first I'll talk about his easy, his easy airy set, which is with the chocolate dash. You wanna animate the third hit and then you can catch him on the ground just like that or you can juggle. So you just wanna animate the third hit and then chakra dash. And the other one is with delaying, but now we can talk about his stun lock combo, which I'll show you. So that's a stun lock combo. You just want to do his air hit and then switch out. That's his air reset. That's basically the um, the other air reset. So you want to make sure to delay the hit, but you don't have to delay the hit while you do it in the combo. But if you want to do that air reset out of the combo, make sure to delay the hit. Sorry for making it so confusing, but it's just a little difficult to time out of the combo. But yeah, that's a stun lock combo. So let me show you guys how long it lasts. It lasts that long, so you could do whatever you want to do in that amount of time. And uh, now I'll be talking about his down combo sub trap. So, all right, if they sub right here, look what will happen. It will still hit them, and then with the up combo, it will do the same thing. But um, it's a little difficult to showcase. But I'll show you that if they sub right, yeah, right there then it will sub trap them yeah and then you could do like that so yeah those are his two sub traps and um you're definitely gonna want to abuse them make sure like if they sub right there just keep mashing keep mashing so you can get it and then also i want to mention that his air combo leads to a strike back so see it'll lead to a strike back make convert off of there do whatever you want um and now Here's what I wanted to show you guys, his combo structure. So I'll do his air reset and then I'll show you guys something. All right, so look, the neutral combo does not drop. See, it will not drop. And same with the down combo. The down combo will not drop, so you don't have to juggle with him. All right, there we go. Look, he's not gonna drop it. Combo structure is crazy, he won't drop it. Can't believe it took me that long. It's just like his infinite sometimes, it doesn't let you like jump. You have to like time it weirdly, but yeah, so he has crazy combo structure on his neutral and down combo. So yeah, I think that completes everything in his base. Let's go on to his awakening to wrap up the video. Alright guys, so Raz is awakening. He has these awakening actions. You want to use it to pressure your opponent and get in front of him like that. Um, so yeah, you want to use it like this. And then you can get right into your um, pressure. So it's kind of like a little shield type thing that you want to use. And then since he has awakening actions, you can do the tech where if you hit switch awakening action at the same time, your support will do the awakening action. So yeah, but basically you want to use these just to close in just like this. And then after that, the guard goes red really fast. But you basically want to use that as a little shield. So let me show you guys one more time before we wrap up the video. His awakening doesn't really have much. Alright, just like this. Chakra bait right in front of him. Now you can get to your pressure. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap up the video, um, he doesn't really have much in Awakening, that's why I didn't uh, show it, it's mostly just a power boost, so his Jutsu is the same, his Tilt is the same, so yeah, if you like, leave a sub, leave a like, peace.